My peoples, my peoples! Good morning and happy Friday! Yes! The weekend is here! And it's finally nice out here on the East Coast in Maryland. Man, like winter just did not want to let go and it sucked. So that's Papa Ziti, by the way. Oh, in case you were wondering who this was, yeah, it's Papa Ziti. And I've got up 6v6, kill confirmed on grind, black ops 2, yada yada. So I've been away from uh, from posting some Black Ops stuff, and where the fuck did that guy come from? I swear to God, sorcery. So much sorcery in this game, and lots of fast-forwarding as well. So I've been away. I haven't been posting any Black Ops stuff. I got Bioshock Infinite, which, I mean, it is a beautiful, amazing, amazing game. It's a rental, though. And why it's a rental... Oh, that was almost three... Why it's a rental is there's just not a lot of replay value for me anyway in it. It's I mean it's I mean wonderfully acted, beautifully drawn. The story is amazing. The the controls are tight. I like the gameplay. Everything about it is a great game except for the no replay value. And that's what I look for if I'm going to drop $60 Plus, because they got me for the DLC package, you know, so that was like another $20 for three pieces of DLC. So I'm, I'm all in for $80 on this game right now. So, you know, whatever. Obviously, I'll play it out. But there's no multiplayer. And there's no replay value for me if there's no multiplayer. Because I don't care. It could be one map, uh, like on Call of Duty. And you're going to get replay value out of that because each and every time that you go into that map, you're playing different people. And just by the very nature of all of us humans being different, it's going to be a different experience each time. So that's what I look for. I've also been away from Black Ops because over the Easter holiday weekend, and happy Easter, by the way, to uh, all the Christians out there who, uh, who celebrate Easter, and to my Jewish fans, uh, happy Seder. Hope everybody had a good Seder and ate that gefilte fish. Yum. Um, I've been to a couple Seders, and uh, it's, uh, it's interesting. But... I was talking with my cousin, and we got to talking about Battlefield 4, and I got just kind of excited about Battlefield 4, so I went back, and oh man, I thought, I was like, come on, and I, I got excited about Battlefield 4, and so I went back, and I, <laughs> I checked, I hadn't played Battlefield 3 in like 400 days, Four, I was like 422 days or something like that, that's a long time, so obviously I didn't get any of the DLC, but they had a premium package where you could get like all the DLC at a discounted price. So of course I'm a sucker for a sale. So I did that. Oh, and we're just gonna switch to the to the sentry gun here because the sentry gun does some work. I thought it'd be a little bit different. I'm being edgy. First time on YouTube, maybe. I don't know. But the sentry gun does work. So we're just gonna leave it here with the sentry gun and, and check out the sentry gun. I'm running around doing what I do with the LMG. It's no big deal. And they were throwing everything but the kitchen sink at me. I see knives coming, all kinds of different flashbangs and stuff, but they just can't touch the sentry gun. It just goes, hell. Anyway, Battlefield 3. So I got back into it, downloaded all the stuff, you know, installed it, whatever. That took like 45 minutes for, for everything, maybe, maybe close to an hour. But, man, I, I, I'm going on record right now. For sure... I'm not pre-ordering Modern Warfare 4 or whatever the fuck they're going to call it. No way. Because you can take a stance on a, on a shitty-ass series by not pre-ordering it. If you're going to protest at all, I recommend not pre-ordering. I am not willing to say that I won't buy it, but I am going to say definitely not pre-ordering it for a couple reasons. One, we all know. We all know what the game is like when it first comes out. It is abysmal, and it's unplayable. So, I'm, I mean, why? Why am I even going to torment myself like that? So, no, I'm not going to do that. And by me not pre-ordering it, I'm sending a message to Activision saying, man, start getting your shit straight. And why is it? Why is it that this industry and, and software in general, basically, they're allowed to get away with not, not putting out a finished product and not having everything do what it's supposed to do when it releases. Like, you wouldn't get a new car, okay? And it's like, oh, push button start and cruise control and all these fun, you know, functionalities, all this newfangled stuff, all this cool shit. 
and it doesn't work when you get it. No, that's not that's not how that business operates. It, you know, it, it says it's going to work and it works. Why is it that we allow software, you know, people who make software and people who make games in particular, and in this and you'll see at the end of this, this is kind of points to exactly what I'm talking about. Why are they allowed to release unfinished products that don't work as intended? And we let them get away with it. It's bullshit. So that's why I won't be buying or I won't be pre-ordering the next installment of this series for sure. And depending on, on, on how I like Battlefield 4, <laughs> I may not even get the next version of this game. It's, it's just playing Battlefield 3 with dedicated servers, it is like, it's just night and day, night and day. And before, you know, in before everybody's like, oh, you run around for 10 minutes on a map only to get shot and you have to start all over. If you play the objective-based games, if you don't get in the vehicle, yeah, it's, it's a long walk or a long run in between areas of the map. But I've been playing Team Deathmatch and those are all very small versions of their maps and the action is immediate. And you, you get that sense of, of, of a high-paced, high-action game all the time, and you don't have to, you don't have to suffer from this peer-to-peer -peer bullshit that we've been sold as the, the way of the future. It's, and I should have stayed and fought that guy, but I didn't. And I don't know, man. I, I, I don't understand how Battlefield can have dedicated servers and Call of Duty can't. It doesn't make sense to me. And I don't buy their bullshit excuse of, oh, it's cost too much money. Bullshit. You know, with all the microtransaction -y thingies that, that Call of Duty is, is doing now, they have enough money to pay for dedicated servers. And you can even rent a server. And this is where the game craps out on me. I'm like, what the hell's going on? So I just rewound it and just show you guys the scoreboard, uh, the scoreboard at the end. I do pretty well. But you can rent your own server. You know? And for if you get four people in the squad to do it, it doesn't cost that much. Guys, Papa Ziti here. Have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. Like the video if you like it. Drop a comment if you have some time. And I will see you next time. Peace.